attacking my fruit trees. There's not a lot I can do about it while they stay up in the trees because I can't get a safe shot at them. So I've got a plan. We're going to take this, which admittedly doesn't look a lot like a parrot, but we're going to do something about that. I've got some parrot green paint, okay, and some very shiny pink paint, which is going to do the rest of it. So we'll get stuck in and turn that into a parrot. First of all, we need to do something about that beak. Once I'd cut off the beak, I sprayed the plastic magpie all over with parrot green. I reshaped the beak with a file and super glued it back on. Then I got busy with the paints, darker green for the wings and tail and pink for the neck ring and beak. That's it, my magpie has become a parrot. Who's a pretty boy? I've also been trying out some new pellets. Um, the ones I've been using are these Air Arms Diablo Field. And I'm finding at this short range, they're tending to, they're quite light and fast and they're tending to go straight through things. So what I've done is I've gone and bought some heavier weight Barracuda Hunter. These are H&N Sport Barracuda Hunter. They're a fair bit heavier and um, they have a, they have a hollow point shape at the front, so I'm hoping they're going to hit harder and uh, have a better stopping power at this short range. I've had to adjust the zero on the rifle to make sure they're hitting the right spot, but um, I think for this short range stuff where it's all at a fixed range, I think they should, um, should have greater stopping power, so we'll see how they go. Well, my parakeet decoy looked pretty good sitting over the fat balls, and it didn't seem to bother the wildlife in the garden. I soon had all the usual suspects all over the peanuts. That seemed like a good opportunity to try out the new H&N Barracuda pellets. And yes, they certainly seem to hit hard, with improved knockdown power at this relatively close range. Next time I looked out, there was a parakeet in the sycamore tree, checking out my decoy. It flew down, but it seemed more interested in chewing the clothes pegs. And then, it landed on the fat balls. But before I could fire, a crow came down and chased it off. A short while later, the parakeet was back. I slipped the BSA scorpion out of the window and... Down it went. Once again, those barracuda pellets worked a treat. So my plan had worked, although we'll have to wait and see if that stops the parakeets damaging the fruit trees. Remember that although these parakeets are an invasive non-native species, you can't just shoot them willy-nilly. So if you're planning to try this at home, do check out the terms of the general license first and make sure you're legal.